In this video, I will be showing you how I built these two cedar planters for my front porch. This is a quick project that you can finish in a day or two with very simple tools. First up, I lay out the wood. For this project, I bought a few 8-foot cedar one buys from my local big box store. Up next, I cut them all to length at the miter saw. Using the stop block on my miter saw station made this easy, but you could use a circular saw or even a hand saw for this. After cutting the boards to length, I trim off a bit of one of the sides of the leg sections to make them equal on each side. This will make more sense when you see me assembling the legs here in a little bit. Before assembling the legs, I need to drill pocket holes in one side of the leg. I also pre-sand them so that I don't have to work into the corners later. Next, I assemble the legs. As you can see here, I am gluing the skinnier leg to the wider leg. This will ensure that the legs are approximately the same width on each side. I clamp them together to make securing the pocket hole screw easier and to ensure the boards don't move when screwing them in. Up next, I route a chamfer into all of the sideboards. You can do this with a handheld router or using a router table like I did here. If you're feeling really retro, you can even do this with a block plane. Now it is time to attach the sideboards to the legs. One tip to keep these square is to attach a straight edge to your bench and butt the legs up to the straight edge to keep everything square. With the two shorter sides complete, I follow the same steps to attach the sideboards to the remaining two sides. Up next, I need to assemble the bottom of the planter. I start by attaching two runners to the long side of the planter. I attach these at a slight angle so that all of the water drains out to a central location. I follow the same steps to attach two runners to the opposite side as well. Thank you. 
Then I simply lay the boards onto the runners, making sure I leave a gap in the middle and then screw them into place. This gap in the middle is going to be used to drain water out to a central location. In this unfortunately horribly filmed shot where you can't see what I'm doing at all, I am cutting the miters for the top of the planter. I stack all four boards and cut the miters at the same time to ensure they are all the same. I then flip them around and repeat the cut. With the boards laid into place, I check to make sure that the spacing around the edges is consistent. One thing I forgot to mention when cutting and laying out the sideboards, and you can see this here, is you want to make sure you pre-drill pocket holes into the top of them to help attach the top boards. Once I confirm everything is spaced correctly, I simply attach the top pieces with pocket hole screws. Next, I lay down a barrier to cover the bottom of the planter. This is to ensure all of your soil actually stays in the planter, but still allows the water to drain through. Then I install the liner. One thing I didn't show here was poking a few holes in the bottom of, of the liner, lining up with the gap in the bottom. Make sure you don't poke through the soil barrier, only through the water liner. This next step is completely optional, but since the natural color of the cedar didn't match the color of the stone on our house, I decided to stain it a bit darker. I put two coats of stain on the planters, followed by three coats of a spar urethane to protect the planters from the elements. My front porch gets assaulted by the sun on a daily basis, so I will need to keep a close eye on them to see if I need to refinish them. And with that, the planters are finished. All that's left is to fill them with some soil and get to planting. If you found this video helpful, I would really appreciate a like and a subscribe. I have included a free SketchUp file below that shows the exact measurements I used for this project. If you end up using them and build this yourself, please let me know how it goes and feel free to send along a photo of the finished product. Thanks again, and I'll see you again soon.